Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Time to make our poem. Hmm. Art? Aw. Bouncy? Tragedy. Peaceful. Happiness. Oh. Sensation. Heaven sent. Unrequited. Um. Bliss. Swimsuit. Forgive. Passion. Tears. Sunny. Vivid. Amazing. Together. And... Excitement. Oh, that was the last one. Holiday. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. That means you're still late. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ha ha ha. Must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Uh, I can't wait for the festival. Oh my gosh, look at her smile. That's the first time I've seen her smile like that. Ever. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Sound a bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Where is she by the way? Why should she be here? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Guys, what do you mean by uh, you all of you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. Uh, I don't get it. Mon Ika. Bon Ika. Bon Ika. I don't know. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Oh, is it? He's breaking the fourth wall. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Hee hee hee. Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayuri's anyway. Excuse me. Where's Sayuri anyway? That's what I'm asking. Oh, there you are. Sayuri is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. What? Walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I put my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Are you okay? You should she be like the first one to like talk to me and stuff. To, you know, all happy and cheerful and all that stuff. Ah. Hee hee, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Ah. Uh, is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Yeah, very off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. Kevgui, what's up? 
Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sari recently? Anything up with her? In what way do they mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a little downcast today. Oh, you think so? Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room at Sari, who is idly dragging a rubber racer up and down her desk. Yeah, something's not right. Maybe there's something on her mind. And I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Cav Gooey. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. Oh. You look worried now. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Okay. Well, I believe you. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Cap Gooey. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sorry talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? What does that mean? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sorry. She's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. Not any different than now than it was as uh, I don't know what to say. Not any different now than it always has been. Hee hee hee. Aw, oh, that's a cute, cute pose. Keep posing like that. I like it. What's up, funny Cav Gooey? Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh, I said too much. No, 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 you, you didn't say too much. You said too little because I'm just that dumb. I'm sorry, what I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna smile meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it. I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Well, yeah, if you tell someone to forget about it, it's gonna be the opposite effect. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayuri is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayuri and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear from her here. Oh. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayuri told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her and th that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Okay everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Oh. Okay. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Hmm. Well, let's hear with Monica, as per usual. Hi, Gab Gooey. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Ooh, I like that. Ha ha ha. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Let Monica take the poem I hold, I'm holding in my hands. Ha ha ha. It's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Cyrus poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. What? They have? I'm surprised you're in, you're so in sync with her. Well, not really. I guess if if you know, doesn't tell me what's going on. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see. I see. That reminds me. 
Wow, Sari's been a little off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well... Devgu, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? What? Uh, flir flirting? Uh, of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. All right. Just making sure. Hmm. Hmm, something's... Hmm, okay. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. What? What? What's that supposed to mean? Huh? I... I'm a little scared now. Sari's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? I... I, I don't know. Well, never mind. Well, thank you for that. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Alright, well, uh, okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. Sayuri's, uh, not talking today, and, and then Monica's like, Don't let anything bad happen to her, keep an eye on her. It's like, ooh, is, is that what, premonition or something? I, some, uh, okay. Ah. Uh. I feel like it's going down that slope now, guys. That's that slope where it has that big warning in the beginning of the game. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. And how it's a psychological horror. I don't even know how that's possible. But we will find out in the next episode as to what's going on. And reading her poem, of course. Monica's. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!